A bed bug scare at a Northern California Goodwill warehouse has caused the entire facility to shut down. That's prompted the question, can it happen here? Well, 23 ABC's Mark Christian joins us live from the Salvation Army with a local nonprofit's screen for the pest and tells us what health officials say you should look out for when shopping at secondhand stores. Mark? That's right, nonprofit groups like the Salvation Army and Goodwill rely upon donations from the community. But sometimes those donations can come with unwanted visitors. And luckily for the Salvation Army, they have not had any problems. The Salvation Army is constantly checking and rechecking their inventory for safety. We have not had a problem here in our building or out in the warehouse or in any of the stores. And that's going back like 10 years. Awesome. But the recent case of a goodwill infestation in Northern California has caused some concern. I love coming here. I, I, I love going to the goodwill. I'm a bargain shopper and I just kind of like to hunt. But health officials say you should be on the hunt for bed bugs when you go secondhand shopping. Essentially, if you bring home one of those items, you can be infesting your home, your space, your car. Uh, so not just your, your home, anywhere where you're going to go and you're going to travel, they can travel with you. And these pests can cause problems wherever they go. They can travel anywhere. Uh, it can happen in San Francisco. It could happen in Bakersfield. It could happen in Kansas. Health experts say it's a common misconception where bed bugs can live and how to spot them. Uh, drapes, couches, bed frames. I thought they were just in the mattresses. Toys, stuffed animals. You would see it on the clothes. I mean, if, if that was fact. Sofas, chairs. Bed bugs are easy to spot. They look like a watermelon seed, but their eggs are difficult to find and even more difficult to eradicate from your life. Because you don't want the hassle of having to treat, and really the only treatment for bed bugs that's effective is full fumigation. Now, the Goodwill in San Francisco had to throw away thousands of dollars of donated items because of that infestation. Fortunately, that infestation was caught before any of the items were put on the sales floor. Reporting live in Central Bakersfield, Mark Christian, 23 ABC. All right, thank you, Mark.